Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the new account playthrough and today we're going to be doing some bird hunting here on Revon Tuli Coast. So I think it's time that we actually turn on our uh, little collar over here. Let's go for, how about, go for the gray legs. I think it's gray legs down here. It could be the bean goose, but I think it's gray legs. Yeah, it's gray legs. There we go. That should be good right there. I mean, they're alert, so that's not ideal. What is making them go alert? Well, either way, it is what it is, I suppose. But the reason I wanted to do this is because we have not used this 10-gauge semi-automatic enough yet. And this is going to give us a chance to really put it to the test. Provided I knew how to aim. Yeah, we were still working on that part of the plan. <laughs> also, I suppose I should probably get the Labrador Retriever I don't have the DLC on this account. Well, give me two seconds. Okay, thank you for your purchase. We now have the Labrador Retriever. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Labrador. Let's get a female Labrador. We have a male Bloodhound, so let's do female Labrador Retriever. What color do we want to go with? I'm going to go with silver. I've never done the silver one, and I do think it looks really, really cool. What are we going to name it, though? That's the question. Okay, so how about Sylvia? Because that's like close to silver, and it's it's a it's a female name as well. So I think that actually works out pretty good. Or I guess it could be a female or a male name technically, but it's largely a female name. So there we go. There's our brand new dog Sylvia. Let's uh, get her out here to help us with the uh, the hunt over here. So why do they keep going alert? This was never a problem before. Is my blind just not working? Okay, well, either way, there's our first goose right there. It is a brown female. We didn't get a great hit. You know, I'm starting to see that I've got some problems with my setup here. I'm thinking we're going to need to move a few things around, like the tent. The tent's probably just not in a good spot. And in fact, I would argue that maybe we even need to move it clear over here to really get, like, the best results. Okay, so far so good. These ones are not spooking. So maybe we'll get a chance to actually get some shots into them. So there they are. They did not land in a good spot, unfortunately. So I may have to take some shots with the 22 Hornet. Although these ones are actually a little better. We'll just go for it. Man, did we get any? Oh, we got at least one. We definitely got at least one of them. Let's see if we can maybe nail one with the 22 Hornet as it goes away. Oh, we did! We actually nailed that one. Oh, and that one too! Well, gotta love having the uh, the trusty old 22 Hornet with you for those uh, secondary shots. So there's a good level 4 in this group of Grey Lags. I wonder if I can hit them when they're that far away. I, I should be able to. Oh, we definitely did get a hit in there. Couple hits, actually. Maybe this is going to be the method. Shoot them before they even get close to us. Let's pick this one up. That is a level two female goose. That's the first one that we shot. We definitely had a couple others, though, so hopefully our dog can actually go find them. There we go. There's a nice four. Another level four gray lag. I'm going to let these ones get a little bit lower and see if we can take them down. I also might try another strategy soon where we put like a stand, like a tree stand up in that tree. That might work out really well, actually. There they are. That's a that's a good amount of them relatively close. Let's just go ahead and get a few shots off. Uh, definitely got at least one, maybe two of them. Not as good as I was hoping, but what can you do? I'm still getting used to this new shotgun. I uh, haven't used shotguns in a while, to be honest. So I'm not expecting to hit every shot, but I was hoping that we'd be hitting more than what we are right now. That's for sure. But hey, we did get the level four. There's our level four, 356. So that's a solid gold. I think honestly, the biggest problem we're running into now is not having a good shotgun sight. So I really need to try and earn enough points to where we can get one. So we got the one, point, 1 to 4 shotgun scope here, but we should have the Red Raptor as well. So unfortunately, we have to use handguns to get this thing, even though it's used on the shotguns a lot more. I don't understand why this is locked behind handgun score. 
So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. We're gonna have to find a way to where we can actually unlock this pretty quickly. So we'll have to take a handgun with us at some point. In fact, I might have the 22 handgun. I do! There we go! That's the key! That's gonna be the key right there. Well, here goes nothing! Got one of them! That's a, that's a little bit of a handgun score. It's not gonna be nearly enough, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. We're gonna slowly work our way towards getting that handgun score. Now, as you can see, I also moved everything around because that setup was just not working. I'm hoping this one will be a little bit more effective. Oh, oh, that's a five. That's a level five Canada goose. Oh, don't you guys mess this up for me. They might mess this up for me because they're going to spook off, but they're not in the same group. So I think we're fine. I think we should be fine. That's our five right there. We're going to keep an eye on him. Because he's the only thing that matters at the moment. Is that beauty right there. Here they come. Oh gosh. That's him right there. Gosh, I think we got him. I think we got him. I think that actually worked. I, I think that worked. Let's go see. Is this him or is this one of the other ones? That That is definitely one of the other ones. But I think we did definitely hit him. We just got to figure out where he died. So let's get our dog to go chase them down. Because there's a lot of wounded geese. It's hard to say if any of those are our five. I, I assume that's one of them is. Well, since we're waiting for our dog to bring them back, let's just uh, try to get a couple with the handgun if we can. Uh, how did we not hit that? That makes no sense. How, how did that first shot not connect? That, that makes no sense at all. Geese being geese, I guess. Oh, Sylvia, are you joking? They're right next to you. You swam right past them. There's no... Way, man. That's a brown hybrid female. That's not our five. I I swear, if we didn't get the five, that's got to be him right there, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's doing that bug where it freezes. Oh, no. I can't remember what I have to do to unbug it. I think I have to leave render, maybe? Is, is that how that works? We're going to try it. We're going to leave render and come back. Oh, I swear to God. If we lose this diamond due to a weird bug like this, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be very sad. There's no way, man. It's it's not even here anymore. There, there's nothing in sight. I don't know where it's gone. But, but it's certainly not here. That's for sure. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's gone forever. Wow. What a way to lose a level 5 goose. I cannot think of the last time that I had a diamond just vanish on me after I killed it. I mean, this one didn't technically vanish immediately, but it bugged out really hard to where it wouldn't float anymore and the dog couldn't retrieve it. Which is a bug that's been a thing ever since the retrievers were added. Um, I'm curious when that's going to get fixed. Because that is devastating. Well guys, there you have it. Our first diamond encounter. Goose hunting. Unfortunately ends in disaster and tragedy. But what can you do? This is the risk we run when playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. There's always a chance that a, that a bug could eat up a trophy. It may be very rare, but... It definitely does happen occasionally, and this was one of those rare times where we did lose a trophy to a bug. But hey, it is what it is. Can't win them all. Here we go. We can get a couple shots off with the handgun. Man, we got the first one, but it is hard to make follow-ups without any type of scope on this thing. Those sights are uh, not ideal for this type of a scenario. Oh my gosh, we got that duck. 
Oh yeah, that was our craziest shot of the day by far. That was wild. Come on, reload quick. Hey, we got the goose too. We got the goose as well. Um, I think it's still alive, so we're going to shoot it one more time. There we go. <laughs> At least we get ourselves a little bit of handgun score. That's nice. Yes, yeah, so it was already dead when I shot it again. That's going to be 33 and a half weapon score. I mean, we're going to be at that Red Raptor reflex site in no time, which will make using that 10 gauge a whole lot easier. Because, uh, yeah, the, the iron sights, while they're better than a lot of the shotguns, that little bead it doesn't give us too much room for, like, uh, correcting and, like, making follow-up shots because you have to kind of, like, lower the gun below them and then put it where you need it. Okay, so I am almost positive that that right there is a rare gray lag goose. Oh my gosh, I think that's a rare gray lag. And I, I don't have any rare gray lags as far as I know. So this is going to be a first for me. And of course, it's on the second account. Of course, it's on the new playthrough series. Because that's where all of our firsts seem to happen nowadays. <laughs> oh man, I think this means that I need to uh, start hunting some other stuff on my main account every once in a while. Because man, we keep getting these trophies and I can't even put them in my main lodge. Jeez, it is super easy to pick that goose out of the group. That thing looks insanely different. And uh, we're just going to secure the kill right here. Oh my gosh, no way. It got spooked. No way did it just get spooked. What did it get spooked by? Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh, we got it. We saved that. We absolutely clutched that up. Well, little feller, let's see if you can uh, survive the barrage of 10-gauge shells. Y yeah, yeah, you can't. Oh, I spoke too soon. We got him. <laughs> you know, it's very unfortunate that we ended up losing that diamond, but we did make up for it by getting this beauty of a goose. Let's just hope that we can actually track it down. It looks like we're getting close. 25 to 50% health. We should be able to find it very, very shortly. Well, our dog just ran right past it. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. It's okay. We got it. That is a beauty. It's a leucistic gray lag goose. That is a first for me, I think. I believe I got a leucistic bean goose in Revon Tuli Early Access a long time ago. But I don't think I've ever got a leucistic gray lag. That is beautiful. Like, that is a gorgeous goose. That is probably... The coolest rare goose I've seen to date. This thing is gorgeous. We may not have got ourselves that diamond, but we sure did get ourselves a beautiful leucistic goose. That is stunning. I, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. I can't get over how pretty this thing is. Well, I think we're going to put this beautiful goose right here. There we go. A beautiful, gorgeous, amazing leucistic goose. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Such an awesome trophy. That is probably my favorite thing that we've killed on this new account playthrough so far. I mean, like, the Diamond Black Rouse was awesome. Don't get me wrong. But this is just incredible. I really like this a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It sucks we didn't get our diamond and it ended up bugging out and completely ruining our day there. But we made up for it with this beautiful leucistic gray lag goose. I'm probably going to do a bit of hunting off video and try to get some more handgun score as well as some more shotgun score so that we can unlock some of the scopes and stuff like that. But uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment down below letting me know what you want us to do in the future episodes of this series. And also, leave a like if you haven't already. It's completely free, takes two seconds, and it helps out the channel more than you can imagine. If you're brand new, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!